Hello leg steering, here we are again. We start with a ball hold, lovely bent thumb, big middle finger opposite, pinky on the top, and back to the front. Okay, so lovely. Let's have our little finger lifts, pinky finger lifts. Nice, strong, bent pinky. You can see I'm holding it with the other hand as well. It's very hard to do pinky with just one hand. Make sure you're holding it with two hands. First finger, press and release. Press and release. Great. So two middle fingers curling up, back to the front. Curling up and back to the front. Great. Now we are going to do our growing exercise. So I want you to copy us as we play. We're going to start on the E string. That's the one where we go long, two, three, four, short, two, three, four. So and we're going to start on the E string and I'll tell you when to change. Okay, so we're starting on the E string. One, two, three, four. E, two, three, four. Point, two, three, four. Long, two, three, four. Heel, two, three. Now, A string. Two, three, four. Point, two, three, four. Long, two, three, four. Heel, two, three. Now, D string. One, two, straight bow but we also play between the bridge and the fingers okay if we play over here the sound is going to be rubbish yeah, that's yes dumb. very thin weedy sound but if we play on the bridge that's very a horrible nasty. sound as well it's, it's creepy and horrible and you want to avoid that as much as you can so when you okay. play you want to be right in here that's good that's right now we'll remember our strings what's our top string E. E. Top space. Okay. Very important that we know where that one is. Okay. What about our bottom note? What is that called? Our lowest string. G. Look how low that one is. Especially compared to the E. You can see how different they are. Yeah. And then. What about this one that's just dropped off the stage? What do we call that? That's called D. Yes. And the one we missed out, the one we tune to always. A. Good. Now, I, we're going to do some rhythm cards again. And instead of just clapping them like we did last time, we're actually going to play them. So I'm going to pick up a card like this. And you are going to play this rhythm on that note. Are you ready? Let's do it. G. Yeah. So the first rhythm is going to be what? Ta, 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 ta. Very good. All right. Next rhythm. How do we say that rhythm? Ta, 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 sh. And we play it on this string. That is the D. That yes. rhythm is number. Yeah. I'll count you in this time. We'll do it again. One, two, three, four. Ta, ta, ta. Yeah. Very nice indeed. Okay. What about this one? We're going to do it with this string. Do you know which one that is? What is it, Fraser? That's A. Yes. So, so second string, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to count four, and you're going to play this rhythm here. One, two, three, four. Shh, ta, shh, ta. Very good. Okay. Very similar, but not quite. Tell me what note that is. What's that, Fraser? It's an E. It's an E. So we're gonna, yeah, our top squeaky string. So we're going to play this rhythm. One, two, three, four. E, sh, e, good. Okay, so new rhythm. We're going to do it on this string this time. What's that one, Fraser? 
D. D. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Shh, shh. Okay, oh, something new here. We're going to do it on this string. Which one is that, Razor? Second space. That is A. A. So we're going to play this rhythm on an A. One, two, three, four. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. Good, very nice. We're going to be learning a new piece today that has got the ta in the in it. Okay, so, new rhythm. What's that string? Do you know what it is, Fraser? E. Okay, top string again, guys. Here's what we're going to do this rhythm now. One, two, three, four. Ta, ti, ti, ta, ti, ti. Ooh, little extra one there from Fraser. Mm -hmm. And another one. We're going to do this on the D. Can you see the D just dropped off the, the lines there? Okay. That's right. And here we go. I'm going to count you in. One, two, three, four. D, D, ta, D, D, ta. Okay. Hard to read backwards. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's this string? That is an A. Second space is an A. Okay. Let's try this rhythm. One, two, three, four. Four. Yes. Give them loads of tiktis. Look how low that is. What string is that? It's a G. It's a G. Okay. So, can we play G with this rhythm? One, two, three, and four. And G, 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 G. G, G. That is a lot of. Four titis. Well, that might have been quite tricky. Up, oh, rests, titis, and tars. Okay, what string is that? E. It's your top string, yes. So let's try this rhythm. One, two, three, four. Titi, <laughs> good. Excellent. Ooh, here we have. Remember how long they last? Two beats. That's ta, ta, tu. Can you do it on this string? What string is that, Fraser? That is a D. Yes. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Ta, ta, tu. Very nice. They seem to have been really easy. Look how low that one is. What string is that, Fraser? It's a G. G. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. Ta, two, ta. Good. Excellent. What about this one? A two, a ta, and a rest. We are going to do that on our highest string. Which is that, Fraser? E. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. Two, ta, sh. Okay, I think we're going to finish with this one. Two, di, di, da. We're going to do it on this string. Do you know what that is, Fraser? It's a D. It just dropped off the stage. So here we go. We'll do this rhythm here. One, two, three, four. Two, di, di, da. Lovely. Well done. Good. Always good to practice those. Keeping our rhythms, sorting out our rhythms. And just try out all those different strings so you feel comfortable with all of them. Now, we're going to look at a new piece. In your books, your Vermouche book ones, if you go to number eight in this book, okay, this is the piece that we're going to look at. So you should open it up so you can see it while we're learning it. Put it over here on the big sheet. I can point stuff out to you. First of all, do you notice what these are? What are those, Fraser? Those, what, which? <laughs> these bits here. Oh, that's the cleft. Treble cleft, which we have on, oh, it keeps disappearing. 
picture of this appears to of the effect again. So, um, this is in every single line of violin music we have treble clefs. If you play the piano, you have a treble clef and you have a bass clef. With us, it's always treble. Now, this piece is only um, on your open strings. It says 4-4 four, four at the beginning. Do you think anyone's got any idea what that is? It actually means there are four crotchet beats in every bar. So we've got one, two, and three, four, and that's a bar there. It's a very long bar. There's another very long bar. One, two, and three, four, and. Okay, so we're just going to talk about that rhythm. So, do you remember what that one is? And it just drops off the stage. D, 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 D. D, D, that's what it says. The rhythm, ta, T, T, ta, T, T. Okay, let's look at the next bar. So we've got the same rhythm. Ta, T, T, ta, T, T. But the notes change. We started off with a D. And then where did we go? Second space note. A. It's the A. So we're going to just do that line of music. Fraser's going to play it. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, from here, one, two, three, four. D, 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 A, A, A. Very good. Let's look at the next. Oops, a bit funny. Look, see, stuff doesn't. It starts on. I'll give you an extra bit. So D. We're back to a D. D, D, D. Now, what about that note there? The great big low one. Your lowest note on the violin, a G. G, G, G. Jumps back up to D. <gasps> Another jump. A, A. Another jump. D, D, D. A lot of action in this one. So I'm just going to go through it again with you. It starts off with D. D, D, D. G. G, G, D, A, A, D, D, D. Now you can play it with Fraser this time. I'll give you four beats, then you come in. One, two, three, four. D, 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 G, 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 D, A, A, D, D, D. Don't do what I did, read the wrong line. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely reading the second line. We'll try that again. I'm sure it... It will just be phrased we made a mistake there. Let's try again. One, two, three, four. D, 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 G, 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 D, A, A, D, D, D. And you notice at the end of the, the, this line of music, there's two lines and two dots. That means you've actually come back to repeat. So we have to go back to the beginning and play the whole thing. So let's just try playing that. So we just... I'll count you in and Fraser will play it and I'll point. Here we go. One, two, three, four. D, 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 A, 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 D, 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 G, 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 D, A, A, D, D, D. Lovely. So what we do is we start at the beginning. To the two lines which you got, and we play it again. Back to the line. Let's look at the next line of music, okay? So, back to our old familiar D. So it goes D, 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 jumps up to. Can you tell me what that is? A. That's right. A, A, A. Back down to 
the old favourite, D. Where is it? D, 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 D. Okay? So Fraser's going to play it with you. We're going to have a go. Okay? Just those two bars. Still only got four beats in every bar. One, two, and three, four, and. Okay, here we go. Three, four. Ta, ti, ti, ta. Every piece we do, I don't know where it is, I think. That's right. So it goes D, 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 jumps up to a higher note. A, the one we tune to. A, A, sorry, A, 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 jumps back down to the old favourite G. Oh, quickly back up to A, A, oops, on the second space. Finishing on the old favourite D, D, D. Can we just go through this line? Fraser will play it and I'm going to point. One, two, three, four. D, 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 A, 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 D, A, A, D, D, D. Now look, two lines and two dots. But it doesn't go back to the beginning, it goes back to here with the two lines and two dots. So what we do in this piece, we play all the way through to here, two lines, two dots, and we play it all again. Then we get to this bit, and we play it all the way to the end, and then we repeat, but we go back to this bit. Okay? So, we're going to try playing it with the piano. I'm just going to move it out of the way so you can see the music. You can always follow your own Bernouche book, and then Fraser will come over here so you can see him playing, and you can hear him as well. So I'm going to give you two beats, two bars in, and we are going to try and do the music as well. So I want to make sure I'm not going to miss what she's doing. Here we go. So I will give you two bars in. Count me. that again just to give you another chance at it remember you can always stop the video and just in fact play it over and over again until you feel really comfortable with it so the things to remember i think the hard bits in this are in these bars here where it suddenly changes and goes back again d a a d d d same here d a a d d d oh, the rest of the time they just it just plows on playing mostly the same note but those are where you've got to watch out. So the fourth bar of this bit and the last bar here. Okay, so we're going to play it again all the way through and that will be the end of the lesson. Okay, so I'm going to give you an introduction.
you all did brilliantly. Well, I, obviously I'm guessing, but I'm, I'm assuming you all did brilliantly because you're all too talented. And we'll have another lesson next week on typing. Okay? Uh, thank you very much, everyone. Good luck this week.